Okay, here's a problem that I want to kind of go with. It's uh, one variable. It's on both sides, but this time we have fractions. And we're distributing. So I kind of want to show you a little trick to make sure you kind of understand this. There's a couple things you can do. You can distribute the fractions over and do it that way. And these are nice, easy ones, so it's, it'll work this way. Fine. Or you can find a common denominator and multiply that to both the fractions and eliminate it that way as well. Uh, I prefer to just do the fractions right now. So I'm actually going to take my one half and I'm going to multiply it to both these guys. Now this is really quite simple if you think about it. I'm actually going to take the 2 and divide it into 36 and then multiply it to the top number. So if you think about it, 2 goes into 36 18 times and then you're going to multiply it by negative 1 which makes it a negative 1. This is terrible the way I wrote this. But, but, so you're actually going to say 2 goes into 36 and you're going to get 18 as your answer. Then take 18 and multiply it by the numerator which is here and it's negative 1 so it will be uh, the answer will be a negative 18. Okay see how I'm doing that? It's kind of like a triangle method. It's kind of like I can go this way then this way uh, you know, in that direction, I'm just dividing and multiplying as it wherever it's located at. All right, so let me rewrite this: one negative one half. Okay, so again, two goes into thirty-six eighteen times. Eighteen times a negative one is a negative eighteen a. Two goes into negative six. Uh, negative 3 and then negative 3 times a negative 1 is a positive 3. You see how I got that? Alright, let's do the next one. 4 goes into 4 how many times? 1. But And then 1 times 3 is 3. 4 goes into, and the reason why I'm saying go into because that little divide sign right here. 4 goes into 24 that's a negative 6 and then negative 6 a times 3 is a negative 18a. Alright, and so now I um, I can subtract both sides just like I did before. Get rid of that. And so this becomes a zero pair. This also becomes a zero pair. So it looks like this may be one of those special cases. And so I got negative 18a equals a negative 18a. And we can stop here because are they both the exact same thing? And so if they're the exact same thing, does it, no matter what number I put in for a, what will happen? Well, it'll work. That's what'll happen. And so in this case, this answer is all real numbers. But I, the main thing I want to show you is how do you, with fractions, this is a way that you can do it with fractions. See how I multiplied the 1 half to 36. I just took the denominator, multiplied, divided into the whole, the, uh, the whole number, and then take the whole number that was left over and multiply it to the numerator. And I did that with all of them. Okay, in this example, I really kind of want to show you a word problem that's really we have to really be careful about. This says two more than a certain number is less than twice the number. Find the number. All right, now, so the reason why I picked this one of all of them is because of this word here, less than. Whenever you see the word less than, it's it's a special one. It's probably one of the ones that is special. Uh, so you got to be careful when you have less than. All right, so less than, when you see that, whatever's in the front of the word goes to the... Whatever's in front of the word will go to the back. Will go to the back. Whatever's in the back of the word less than will go to the front. All right, so it's kind of reversed. It will be a minus, though. So let's use this as an example. Let's say that we have x. Uh, x is less than 3. Just using this as an example. This is just an example to explain to you. So if x is in the front of the word less than, then that means x will go to the back. If 3 is in the back of the word less than, then it'll actually go in front of the minus sign. So that's basically what I'm trying to get at. So let's do this problem so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. 
So I'm looking for, I see the word less than, it's right there. And so I'm going to uh, write this out. Two more than a certain number. Okay, so <laughs> a number we kind of like use X or N as our number. So I'm going to say X. And it's two more, so that means I get to add two. I could write two plus X. It's the same situation, basically. But I'm just going to put a number and two more in it. Then it says is, usually is means equal, less than uh, twice the number. Oh, did I miss something here? Uh, two more than a certain number. Oh, I did. Is, I forgot the word 15, the number 15. This is supposed to be, let me hang on a second. Is 15 less than a number. Okay, so the word is means equal. So this word, this one right here means equal. All right, now 15 is in the back of the word less than, so in the front. So we're going to move it to the back. So I know I'm going to have a subtract sign there. I know I am. All right, and so because of the word less than, so we're going to go ahead and put that there. So I know I have a less than, but the 15 goes in the back. So we'll put it in the back. Twice the number, well that's 2, and we have to use the same variable, so we're going to say 2x. So if you see there, I've got 2x minus 15. Right, see how that less than kind of flipped them around? So this actually, twice the number, it actually goes in the front, and so it did. Now we're going to solve it. So I'm going to subtract both sides by 2. I always like doing the numbers first. This becomes a zero pair. All right, and then we're going to go back and just subtract them. So it's x equals 2x minus 17. Be careful here. Remember that I told before that when the signs are the same, you add. When they're different, you subtract. Then I'm going to subtract. Now that's a positive 2x. So now I'm going to subtract um, 2x to both sides. There again, this becomes a zero pair. And it looks like we're going to have uh, so we could have a negative x equals a negative 17, which is another excellent example here because we can't have a negative variable here. Whenever you have a negative variable at the end, you, it's kind of like you have to change all the signs to the opposite. We really just divide everything by negative 1, and so it really makes it x equal, because this really is a 1, makes it x equals 17. So 17, and I can put 17 on both sides. 17 plus 2 is 19, and this one is 2 times 17 minus 15. That's 34 minus 15, and that is 17. So, see, oh, I'm sorry, 19. So that is 19. All right, so this, how you do this with the word problem? Watch out for the word less than.